they don't understand that to them this is not just you're in a house and people are taking it's a home the state staffing crisis continues and it's forcing more people out of their homes a handful of state-run group homes in the Finger Lakes are closing. And now people who rely so much on stability have about two months before they move. Chief Investigative Reporter Berkeley Breen spoke to one of the families affected. Berk? Listen to this. So when you and I were growing up back in the 70s, there was a terrible accident in Henrietta. A car hit a 12-year-old girl and caused massive brain damage. She was raised by her parents and then her sister. And she's lived in a state-run group home for six years. She was diagnosed with cancer four months ago, and now she's got to move because there's not enough people to take care of her. This is Tammy. Susan That's Fountaine showed me her favorite pictures one. of her sister Tammy. Tammy lives in a group home in Newark, Wayne County, but the state called Susan to say they're suspending the home. And I was confused as to what that meant, and they basically told me it's closing. So she was diagnosed with cancer around Christmas. Mm -hmm. She's going through cancer treatment. Yes. And now she's got to move. She's got to move. She's not going to have any of the staff that is with her. This has been a problem since COVID. In 2021, the state closed several group homes in the Finger Lakes region because of what it called a workforce shortage of crisis proportions. When I contacted the state about the closures now, it brought up staffing again, writing, quote, OPWDD has had to implement temporary measures to ensure the safety of people living in group homes that are unable to maintain conditions that provide for the safety of residents. The state did not say how many people are moving, but one family whose loved one is moving told me up to nine group homes are closing, moving up to 80 people. Here's a real good one. Including Tammy Fountaine. What's your concern? I understand they're short staffed. I totally understand that. But I don't think closing group home after group home is going to solve it because you're still going to be short staffed. Susan believes her sister's move date is June 14th. She's afraid to tell her while she's getting radiation treatment. The families might find some comfort when the state says this is temporary. But when I covered these closures two years ago, the doctor who oversaw state run group homes told me he's never seen a group home close and then reopen. Brett? All right, Burke, thank you.